Hello guys, Zanjay here and in this video we are going to see how to route the OnePlus 3 and how to flash a custom recovery like TWRP recovery on the OnePlus 3. So before further delay, let's get into the video and first of all go into settings of your phone, then go into about phone, then tap the build number 7 times so that developer options will be enabled. So you need to enable 3 things, so the first thing is OEM unlocking, the second thing is advanced reboot and the third thing is USB debugging, make sure you enable all these 3 things. And after that, long press the power button, select reboot and select bootloader over here so that the device will boot into the bootloader mode. And after this, connect the USB cable to the phone and to the PC. Now let's head over to the desktop. So we have three files over here. So the first is ADB folder, then SuperSU zip file, then a recovery file that is TWRP file. I would suggest you to rename the TWRP file as recovery. And after this, copy both these files into the ADB folder. Now hold shift button on your keyboard and at the same time press right click on the mouse. You will get an option of open command window here, select that and now write fastboot devices. It will show our device that means our device is successfully connected over here. And now we need to unlock the bootloader of the device. So for that we are going to use this command that is fastboot oem unlock. And now head over to your phone and you will see something as unlock bootloader. Hit volume up or volume down according to you and select yes and press the power button so that your device's bootloader will get unlocked. And before you set up your device we need to boot into the fastboot mode once again. Then I would suggest you to remove the USB cable. Switch off your device completely and once your device is switched off, hold the volume up button and the power button together so that the device will once again go into the fast boot mode. And now we need to flash the TWRP recovery which is present over here. But once again, we'll just check if our device is connected by using the same command that is fast boot devices. And once the device is shown, we can go forward and use this command that is fast boot flash recovery space recovery dot img. Make sure to use the same exact command and I'll give all the commands in the description box below. So do not worry about that and all the download links will be in the description box below. And once the recovery is flashed successfully, you do not need to reboot or anything. Just head over to your phone once again. And and now press volume down button unless and until you see option of recovery mode. After that hit the power button so that the device will boot into the recovery which is TWRP recovery over here. Over here select swipe to allow modifications because we need to root our device. And guys as soon as you boot into the TWRP recovery make sure to backup your complete ROM by using the backup option over here and just select swipe to backup. This will backup the complete oxygen OS ROM which is non rooted so that if anything goes wrong afterwards you can simply restore this backup and you will be back on oxygen OS which is stock and unrooted. And after this once again attach USB cable to your phone and now copy the super SU zip file from your desktop, laptop or whatever you have to the phone's internal storage. Once the file is copied go into install then scroll down and select the super SU zip file which you can see over here. And this super SU zip file will be flashed in a matter of seconds and after this if you get anything like do you want to install super SU select no over there. Uh, I did not get it and most probably even you won't get it. And now the device has booted successfully just uh, set up your device and now let's check if the device is rooted or not and in the root checker basic application you can see that it says congratulations root access is present for this device. So. Yes, root access is completely working and let me answer some of the general questions that people have. So first question is that will the fingerprint sensor work after rooting? Yes, fingerprint sensor works super fine. Will you get OT updates after rooting? Uh, you will get OT updates but you won't be able to flash those OT updates. But I'll give you a guide link in the description box below by which you can flash OT updates on a rooted OnePlus device. Uh, so head over to the description box below all the videos and all your doubts will be solved over there. And if you have any more doubts then let me know about that in the comment section below. I'll surely try to answer your queries. So yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because many more awesome videos on the OnePlus 3 are going to come real soon. So yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.